Dolph, a street will be renamed after Young Dolph. A statement has been released by one of the councilmen in Memphis stating that there will be an upcoming ceremony to do with renaming this street after Young Dolph. This says for immediate release celebrating the life and legacy of Adolf quote Young Dolph Fulton Jr. Memphis T and December 3rd 2021 Adolf Robert Thornton Jr. a father partner son cousin entrepreneur icon and Memphian will be celebrated upon the news of Young Dolph's passing councilman Smiley availed himself to the family to ensure the city and citizens were given the time to grieve and a space to celebrate the life of Adolf Robert Fulton Jr. On Tuesday, December 7, 2021, Councilman Smiley will sponsor a resolution celebrating Young Dolph and naming a street in his honor. A public ceremony unveiling the name of the street will be held on December 15, 2021, 1 p.m. at Dunn Avenue and Airways Boulevard near the Memphis Depot Industrial Park. Councilman Smiley invites the council to join him in this effort to pay tribute to a man that embodies the spirit of Memphis. The family shared their gratitude for the outpouring love and support with Councilman Smiley and are proud that a street will be renamed for him. They then added a statement from Young Dolph's family and in this statement they go on to say that Dolph wanted to build music education centers for young people in the community to have access to training and other resources. He wanted to build music award centers in the community. It's always something like that. These artists is about to do something big for the community and now they're not here it's always something like that the investigation still continues they're still looking for the two suspect photos that they've released of the shooters and all the stuff and apparently people think that these people don't even exist the two shooters are actually dead what people think these two suspects that they're looking for don't even exist it continues police are still looking they say for two suspects in this case we know that they are offering a two thousand dollar cash reward for information they are also offering money and cash awards for information notice as well when it comes to the young dove situation a lot of people in the industry have been silent so they will be holding a ceremony on the 15th of december quando rondo so quando rondo now has done a live video and people keep commenting saying duck behind you because they are still looking at little duck for the get back and stuff and little duck or them and get back and stuff so they're looking at little duck for the get back quando rondo address this quando rondo said stop saying little ducks behind them because then bow they'll get it behind them and they'll be in the ground and stuff and little duck will be in the ground and all of it this is what quando rondo said in the live video saying nigga behind you see nigga gonna be in the ground y'all is tripping with that i don't know nothing about none of that he behind get from behind me then so that was Quando Rondo still hallucinating. He have 600 Breezy. Apparently he was on the run. Up an old warrant on him. This was a few weeks ago. He went down a few weeks ago. Now this picture of his recent mugshot is going around on social media. This is the recent mugshot of 600 Breezy. Then we had Kanye West and him doing this and Drake doing this free Larry Hoover concert. I think it was on Larry Hoover's birthday or something. They was doing this free Larry Hoover concert and stuff like that. They're still trying to get Larry Hoover free. Larry Hoover is a god behind bars. They're not going to free him. They're not going to free a god behind bars like some people just still in this space and they're still trying to get larry hoover free they can bring out kim kardashian go to joey and all the stuff and they still wouldn't free larry hoover they are not going to free larry hoover because he is a god behind bars but apparently he controls the whole nation and he still managed to control a population of people while he was behind bars what makes you think they're going to let out larry hoover now going to let out larry hoover because they think he's going to still be passing orders he is too powerful so this video right here of a robot being programmed has shocked a lot of people seeing this video myself i was kind of just shocked when it opened its eyes and stuff i was kind of like just jumped a bit like what the hell is going on people are like the world is coming to an end it has come we are in the future right now we are in the future and sooner or later robots will be available to buy we will be able to go out and buy them and store them and they will have a price on them then they will go down and the new models will come out and everything just like the phones a new model will keep coming out and all this stuff and it's already been out and this is the video right here this video is 
kind of shocking. I mean, a lot of people is not even cool with it. People are like, no, I'm not cool with this. They're like, they're gonna take over. They're already taking over the jobs and stuff, everything. We are in the future right now, 2021, 2022, and it is slowly being introduced to us. Watching the feedback they are receiving to see how people are reacting, if they're scared, if they're doing this, if they want it, all this stuff, right? Then we had the mind-blowing one that came out the other day where they was asking to give over 200K to use someone else's voice and face for a lifetime. They want to now pay people to use their face and voice. We have seen this coming. We have seen this in movies. This is not something new. This is something that they were going to do at some point and now it is happening. Now is the time that they are doing this. They want to give thousands of people 200k give their face and voice so they can clone them it doesn't get anywhere that we are in the future right now they want you to voluntarily give yourself to them and give yourself and clone you and people also think when it comes to the rap industry and all these people that's been dying and stuff all these great artists that's been dying people think they are actually coming up with this plan to do some hologram type thing in the next five years they would have like holograms where they would be able where you would be able to go and see all these different artists in holograms and they would be making money off of them using their voice and using their mannerism and stuff and trying to create off of them like this is crazy i mean we already seen the two-pack hologram they had a few years ago this is not new so this is something that they would create businesses and stuff like that where you can go in and look at all these holograms and they would try to make it look interesting like the metaverse and stuff the metaverse and make it look interesting and stuff but i'm telling you this is all to get into your brain and into your mind is going to happen in a few years because they have bought the rights to these artists in the industry they have bought the rights these contracts oh dodgy contracts everything dodgy you have to read the fine print all this stuff if you don't read it you don't know what you're signing and that's why you shouldn't sign any document without someone present like someone far away from the industry because all the people in there they all work together and they're all in one and stuff and now they are going to create this holograms how did we have a two-pack hologram created in 2017 and we had snoop dogg on stage condoling that behavior and condoling them making him into a machine and turning into a machine you cannot rest this is what i'm saying then you will find out why tupac is not here there's a lot of things that's going on there is a lot of stuff that's still going on in the industry and then we now have to look into these things they could buy the right turn buy your voice and stuff and do all this stuff that's why they collect all this music off them they made them make all this music all this music that's why they need a certain amount of music and then nowadays you just need a sample of something sample of someone's voice all this stuff right so this is what they are doing and this is what's going to be happening in the next few years in the next few years there will be a whole set of hologram rappers the industry the music industry will turn into a bunch of hologram rappers and they're going to do this to the dead ones the people that have died that's the ones they're going to use this hologram where they can make more money off of them even in death they make money off of them even in death that's how it works right now